My name is Amani Kidd and I'm a political science major here at TUJ. I participated in the Agricultural Trade Office internship at the U.S. Embassy. The Agricultural Trade Office is in charge of essentially bridging the gap between the Japanese agricultural market as well as the American agricultural sector. Um, they allow Japanese products to enter the, into the American market and vice versa. So my main project was compiling all the data for the annual retail report. Basically this report is a report that puts together a lot of data up about and around um, agriculture in Japan, whether it's the products that were um, popular, whether it's um, the amount of money not spent because of different um, economic um, problems, things like that, the amount of money that households um, have that are going towards food um, versus the amount of money that's going towards um, you know, uh, other leisure um, activities. Um, so essentially, um, my responsibility was trying to put this report together that made it really easy and accessible to people who are interested in seeing the amount of money that is spent on food and the amount of money that goes from country um, to country and then back to Japan. Uh, I participated in a food trade show and essentially this specific trade show was a trade show that allowed American vendors to kind of come and see how well their product would do in the Japanese market. Um, it was kind of like an experiment for them because many of them um, were bringing products to Japan that either were, were banned before such as like beef jerky or other products that are not widely um, popular here in Japan. Um, essentially for them uh, they were going, they were uh, soliciting to um, buyers and sellers that were interested in their products and also informing them about the different um, uh, ingredients within their products as well as the things that um, they hope to improve uh, given the feedback that they received. Um, my job was essentially to set up and also kind of go around and I, like, I got the opportunity to pick brains of various vendors and see you know, what their expectations were, um, what were the challenges in trying to create a product and bring it to Japan and also um, what their hopes were for the future essentially if they were successful in selling their product in Japan. The biggest thing that I learned from my internship experience is the fact that food is not only a necessity but a labor of love. A lot goes into producing our food and also getting our food from um, a, a, the state in which it's raw to um, the state in which it's edible. So I learned to appreciate not only the food itself but the process behind it. And I think many people should consider the blood, sweat and tears that goes into the food that they are presented on their dinner table. The other thing that I learned from my internship was how much uh, went into uh, the running of the embassy. I had no idea when I when I began. Well, I, I guess I, in a sense I did, but there's a lot that goes into you know the U.S. embassy, um, any embassy. Um, you know, there's not only they not only deal with visas, but they also deal with like food, and they also deal with like you know um, the commercial sector and various other um, sectors, and so. It's kind of interesting to kind of you know walk around the embassy and see people in their in their work environment and how you know they're they they come from various other countries and they're trying to make sure that things run smoothly um, and it's also nice to, when you get the opportunity to talk with other people about their uh, various career fields how they were able to either um, become uh, come to Japan and work or um, how they heard about. Uh, the, the opportunity of working at the embassy as well. So I was able to learn a lot that um, that kind of encompassed not only just food, but kind of, you know, the, the career field and, and the various people who work at the embassy. The thing I enjoyed the most was not only just the information that I learned, but the fact I got to eat food. It was quite nice. I got the chance to eat food within the office and I also got to go out with my supervisor and eat lunch with him and got to kind of understand food from his perspective. Um, the people that I that I met, whether it's in the office or uh, around the embassy or at trade shows, they had this appreciation that I, I really wanted. So um, I really, I just enjoyed talking to them about food and understanding food from their perspective. Um, also, you know, um, I got the chance to meet Ambassador Kennedy at one of the events and she was um, so, such a lovely person to meet. She's actually one of my heroes, so I really got, I really enjoyed the chance just meeting her and kind of, you know, she spoke with us about, you know, her appreciation for us interns and, you know, our interests in the various sectors that we came from within the embassy. So it was nice to meet her before um, she stepped down. 
The biggest thing that I would like to stress about this intern or any internship um, is to definitely um, pursue opportunities, uh, pursue the internship opportunity. Because when you come to college, it's very unique. You know, you get a, the opportunity to meet a lot of people, but you also get the opportunity to find, um, you know, different career fields that you would like to enter into. And this is an opportunity for you to um, see what's out there, you know, perhaps something that you didn't consider before. Um, but it's also, I consider it an independent study because you're able to not only learn about whatever it is you're, you are interning, uh, you know, the topic that you're interning, but also you're able to learn about yourself. I know that I learned a lot about myself that I didn't expect, you know, in this internship. And as I mentioned before, prior, prior to working for the ATO office, I didn't know anything about agriculture as well. So this opportunity really opened my eyes to the possibilities that maybe I didn't consider before. And also, you know, now um, going forward and what regardless of what career I choose, I know that I will always have this information and I know I will always incorporate it not only into my lifestyle but into whatever career field I pursue because I believe whatever information that you gain in your internship, you can definitely carry it over into various sectors of your life.